intravenous urogram documentary film. Intravenous urogram. An intravenous urogram IVU is sometimes called an intravenous pilogram IVP. It is a test that looks at the whole of your of your urinary system. It looks at kidney, bladder, and the tube that connects them, which called ureters. IVU is indicated in renal colic, hematuria, trauma, pelvic malignancy, and UTI. It is contraindicated in pregnancy, allergy, and renal failure. Patients usually take an anabdominal preparation the night before to clean focal residue. So, you must start patient preparation before 24 hours of examination and you must explain the procedure to the patient in the words he can understand. To prepare a patient for the IVU, he should have the following. Light evening meal before the procedure. Bowel cleaning with laxative, he should MPO after midnight, and he should have enema in the morning. Remember to check the patient ID before start examination. Before excretory urogram, all cloth except shoes and socks should be removed and replaced with short sleeved hospital gown. And the patient should void just before examination. An IVP follows this process. The patient will be positioned supine on the X-ray table. Then, a preliminary KUP X-ray will be taken. The X-ray beam is centered in the midline at the level of elec crest. The purpose of the brain film is to check the patient's preparation, exposure factor, and detect abnormal calcification. The nurse will be start prepare the contrast medium and the radiologist will be injected into the vein in the arm. During the injection of the contrast agent, the patient may feel warm and become flushed only for a minute or so. Generally, this reaction is normal. X-ray will be taken at interval after the dye has been injected. First, a medius film. This film is exposed from 10 to 40 seconds after the injection. It aims to show the nephrogram. After that, the 5 minute film will be taken to determine if excretion is symmetrical or if uptake is poor, and further doors of contrast agent is required. Compression may be applied some center at this point to distend the pelvic cell system to demonstrate any filling defect. Compression should not be used in cases of suspect renal colic, renal trauma, or after recent abdominal surgery. The 15 minutes film with compression demonstrate the pelvic cell system and the ureters. After release of compression, the lower ureters and the bladder are x-rayed as the contrast material flow into them. Obliques of the kidneys, ureters, and the bladder to determine whether the radiopaque shadow is in the ureter or outside. The patient is asked to replace his clothes and drink water to fill his bladder. Follow bladder film with 15 chidal angulation taken to show the bladder. If this film is satisfactory, the patient asks to embed the bladder. Then, posit maturation film will be taken to demonstrate the bladder embedding success. And the return of previously distant lower end of ureters to normal. The procedure is done at this point. I hope you can understand this demonstration video of general IVP procedure.